everyone, my name is Stormzone Experts, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team, with commentary! Yeah, that's great, right? So, this game, it was suggested by TYM Omega, which I think is correct, uh, yes it is, or time, or, there's an accent on that Y, so I'm not sure, but thank you for suggesting that game, or this game, I have played this game, I do own it as well, before anyone complains like, oh my god, it's illegal, no, I got the game, it's fine, I have it here, it's in real life, okay, okay, it's fine, so um, anyways, this game, it's actually a spin-off game, well, what kind of spin-off game, you may ask, well, it involves you moving, well, it involves you being a Pokemon, first of all, and you're going through dungeons, and you know, helping other Pokemon out, that's pretty much the gist of it. So this game, I know this game quite well, and I would be lying that I, I don't know at least half of it, but yeah, it's it's been a while, however, so I don't remember as much now, but I do remember half of the game, at least half of the game. I know what happens in the general plot, in the gist of what's going to happen in this game as well, so that's usually how it goes for me. Um, starting off, we have an adventure log 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, there's nothing here, it's useless, and then there's new game. Uh, I also want to talk about Pokemon Glaze, which is, you know, it's not a part of this. But, uh, I'm not going to be doing the Pokemon Legendary, the Legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Glaze because it's too much work, and you'll be wondering why I'm saying that. It's because I'm starting Pokemon Secondary, and I need to focus on school a lot more than uh, YouTube on general because uh, YouTube is just a side thing that I do and it's merely here for no reason. I started in 2009 and you know I've been doing it since, that's it. Uh, on vacation out things you want to go with others, sure. Uh, sorry, uh, we might as well just do this first before um, I continue on with Pokemon Glades and why I'm not going to do it. So let's see, um, your friend follows to show up, fails to show up for a meeting at the proper time, what would you do? Become irritated, wait patiently, get it. I usually become irritated because you're supposed to meet on that time, you know, just saying. Uh, do you occasionally consider yourself dull and overly cautious? Yes. A, a test is coming up. How do you study for it? Uh, I used to just ignore it, but that was like in junior. Last second was in high school. Now I'm gonna have to start studying hard. So this. Uh, do you sometimes run out of things to do all of a sudden? Yes, I do. Uh, do you feel lonesome when you're alone? Sure. Do you like pranks? Depends. As long as it's not cruel. A human in uh, hand extends out of the toilet. What would you do? Uh, isn't there supposed to be an option where you give them the toilet paper? Uh, I would just close the lid then, I guess. Uh, yes, I'm probably this. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm yep. You seem to be the calm nature, calm type. You're capable of giving advice to friends with worries. You don't like to fight. That's true. You're a warm, kind-hearted person who cares. <laughs> uh, you must have many friends who look up to you. However, you may also be somewhat gullible. Eh, sure. As well as a little careless. And even a little sloppy. Okay, that is kind of... nah. You might want to keep those points in mind. A common person like you should be the Pokemon Mudkip! This is final step. Who would you like to have as a partner? Oh! Uh, choose the Pokemon you want as your partner from this group. So, uh, once you got the Pokemon that um, the game randomly chooses for you after answering some questions, you're given this option. You have to pick a partner. You have the choices between, um, of all these Pokemon, Charmander, Bulbasaur, Pikachu, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Torchic, Trico, and Mudkip, if, um, you're not Mudkip, just saying. So, you have all those Pokemon, so pretty much you have eight Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, eight Pokemon to choose from, if, excluding yourself, so that's seven. Um, I'm a water type, and I like picking Pokemon that would help me in the long run. So, for example, I'm a wa water type, so I want something that would go against grass, uh, electric, which a Mudkip doesn't have a problem with, you know, electric, because first of all, it's going to become a ground type at some point, so whatever, right? So, I kind of want 
a Pokemon that is like a fire type, so I'm given the choices Charmander, Cyndaquil, and Torchic. Torchic is a pretty good Pokemon because um, it becomes a Blaziken, like after the game because it can't evolve. Spoilers. Uh, so that's kind of out of the question. Cyndaquil is a good Pokemon. It's a balanced kind. Of, it's a balanced Pokemon where it's just um, it's kind of has a decent amount of HP, which is health points, and a good amount of attacking. Uh, and moves, but the problem is that it does lack the powers that you need sometimes. But it is a pretty good balanced Pokemon. And then we have Charmander, which you know everyone likes. I don't know. I like Charmander the best usually. Usually I'm stuck between Torchic and Charmander. Mm. You know what? Why not I choose Charmander? Why not? And what's your partner's nickname? Oh boy, I know what it's, I'm gonna call it. Guess what, Aqua? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna show you this video, so... That's uh, gonna be fine, don't worry guys. Uh, yes. Alright, we're all set, let's get you into the world of Pokemon, go for it. Alright, so, Pokemon Glaze. Uh, I, I am in post-secondary, uh, post um, if you guys don't know, I'm in school called SATE, or Sovereign Alberta Institution of Technology. Uh, and I'm going to be doing it for two years, and I'm heading to the University of Calgary. Yes. For, cause, yeah, for um, a bachelor's degree in chemistry. That's in two years though. And how I'm gonna do it? Yeah, don't question how. I know how to do it and all that stuff. Uh, the point is, I'm gonna be extremely busy and it's gonna be quite difficult for me to, you know, edit and stuff. So, editing it, it in, editing in itself is not as hard as it seems. The problem is that if you want high quality videos, you have to do a lot of work onto it. And most people do. The problem is time. Now most people have um, the time to do it because it is their job. YouTube is their job. However, people like me that are students or are working part time for a different job uh, don't have as much time. So because of that, uh, videos don't go up as often and that's going to be a little bit of a problem for this channel. So if I don't upload as often, that is the reason why, but I will be mass uploading, which will be the solution of what um, which is going to be covering um, how often I'm going to be uploading. I'm going to be usually doing about 10 episodes as a mass uh, recording. So about 1 to 10 will be um, all straight recordings and then I'm going to stop there and then after all the 10 episodes I'm going to record again for... I'm going to mass record again for another 10 episodes and so forth. That's how I'm going to be doing it for these recordings. So I won't be able to see your suggestions at all until the 10th episode which will be slightly too late I guess. So. Yeah, it's kind of a situational thing, but it's the only possible way I can think of because I will be quite busy on my hands and so forth just because I don't have as much time. So this is the solution I got for you guys and so forth. Now, um, I'm just going to put my generic Pokemon name, just saying. Uh, recording for commentary. How am I doing it? I'm using my brother's laptop and his headphones or headset. Um, if you guys didn't know, he, uh, well, actually, let me go back a little bit further. These headsets, they were mailed to my brother um, a few months back, maybe a bit more, by someone in the United States, and he got them, you know, it's it was for free because he didn't have anything to talk with and so forth because the head headsets that we had were crap okay that was the point it was crap and it didn't do anything so a friend of his bought this uh, headset and now he uses it a lot the problem about me is that um why haven't I got one and why haven't I you like you know used my phone for well, one quality I want a decently good quality mic. Second of all, why am I not using the computer I'm recording on to uh, record my uh, voice right now? The problem is the audio jacks. Uh, they don't work. That's why I've been trying to look for a USB headset. But there's none. None. None at all. I can't find them because they're so expensive. Uh, so yeah, that's it, I guess. <laughs> that's all I have to say. So yeah, it, I just had to transfer the audio file to this um, desktop I'm using on right now, using currently, and it should be fine as long as I know what to do, and that shouldn't be a problem. So yeah, that's what I'm doing for this channel. That's it. 
Anyways, uh, welcome to Tiny Woods B1S or bo um, bottom floor one. I don't know. Anyways, uh, head for the destination while attacking forward towards A. Try not to let the partner fate. You see that staircase right there? That is where we're supposed to go. We got pretty lucky. Now this game is pretty luck based or RNG. If you don't know what RNG is, it's pretty much just saying how lucky you are or how lucky you can be or the chances of game whatever you know stuff like that um rng is uh i, I don't want to swear because that's kind of ridiculous to me so I, I won't but the point is that it can be a complete a-hole when it wants to be and at the worst times but right there um it was fine so yeah whatever now attacking how do you attack is press a that's a simple right uh, how to use move? Press B and hold it. But you can't use it right now because it doesn't give you the option. I think. Maybe I'm just stupid. I'm, maybe I'm just stupid. Whatever. You're supposed to press B uh, and you know stuff like that. Your team regains HP as it moves. Hold B and then press A to recover. Uh, to you know do that stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna do that yet. So, what I just did is press B and then press A at the same time, and then it allowed me to heal. I'm gonna get this orange berry here, which, uh, you know, generically, it's an orange berry, which sort of HP in any Pokemon game. Uh, there we go. Just press B, and then you're given this up, um, this menu here, which usually it's supposed to be select, uh, start button, but it doesn't do that for some reason. Here, um, I'm gonna explain all this. You have your HP and your partner's HP. That, that's simple enough. Your belly, which is your stamina, or well, not really your stamina. It's more like how long you can go before you start to lose your HP. Now you have a maximum belly, which is your um. I'm gonna call it stamina. Screw this. <laughs> it's not really stamina, but I know. It's, I'm just gonna call it that. When it goes down to zero, um, you start losing HP and you cannot run. That is um pretty bad okay you can already tell it's pretty bad so when you you, you will want to stay at least above 10 I guess it will continuously tell you that you need to eat you need to eat like over and over again until the point where um, you faint which by the way if you faint you have to start the whole dungeon which sucks and because this is on our emulator I can't revive <laughs> using a different game so that uh, that sucks. So yeah, make sure you don't faint. Make sure you eat so that your belly keeps on. Um, your belly keeps stays up above there. Okay, at least like I usually stay above sixty, maybe twenty, depends on how long the dungeon is. Uh, and yeah, your partner does not have a belly a meter. By the way, just saying, only you do, and whoever you're controlling. So, Mudcub alone, I'm, that's the only character I'm controlling, that's it. Like, the entire game, I'm just going to be controlling one character, and that's the only character that's going to have that belly, okay? That's it. Money is going to be an important uh, factor later on in this game, just not na right now. Just make sure to collect some, you know, here you go. Um, play time, that's the usual. Weather, uh, it's going to play a part later on, but not now, so don't worry about it yet. So, we have the move sets. Look at this, Tackle and Growl. The usual level 5 moves and Charmander or your partners. Growl and Scratch. That's your usual. Um, how you set moves? Okay, the concept of setting moves is that uh, you can set a move on or off and then they will either use that move or not. Simple as that. If, you, if I turn off Growl, for example, it will only use Scratch. If I turn off Scratch, it will only use Growl. If I keep them both off, it will just automatically attack using the A button. If I keep them both on, it will use either one of those attacks. Simple as that. Um, next is items. Then we have our teams. We'll explain all this later. For now, we're just gonna get, and we're just gonna get to the bottom of the floor and complete this dungeon. So yeah. All right. There's cop. Uh, Caterpie. Yeah. Where are you? We came to rescue you. Just like a smile. Uh, just like a smile. Like we came to rescue you. <laughs> I don't know. Huh? Your mom's waiting. Let's go. Let's, yeah, let's get you out. Okay. <laughs> it's like it just like said okay and, and 
there's strangers coming out, just like, hey, we came to rescue you, and like, okay. Like, okay. <laughs> My baby's safe, I'm sorry, I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. Oh, that's okay. It's been this dangerous lately with sudden quakes and fissures like this, that one. Yeah. It was great to find your little boy unharmed. Please, may I have your names at least? I am Aqua, and this is Expert. Okay. Like, dot dot dot. Oh! Cool. It's like, okay. It's like staring like, oh! He's, uh, staring at me adoringly. Those sparkly eyes. It's a little embarrassing. But this doesn't feel bad either. It's like I'm a hero. Hoping Pokemon and Toe might be a good experience. Alright. Thank you! Thank you! I've been watching a lot of um, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Like the GameCube version, not the Wii U HD. And oh my god, whenever I see uh... Oh, who's that shopkeeper guy? I already forgot, that's great. <laughs> uh, but whenever you buy that item from his shop, it's like, thank I can't go with it anymore. <laughs> but yeah, it's hilarious to me. Anyways, thank you for helping! You're very tough, I was so impressed. So, what are you gonna do? Do you have any plans? Like, uh... <laughs> No. Listen, if you don't have a place to stay, you could sh you should come to me. Hey, you should come with me. Hey, water, Charmander, dip your tail in there. Nah, I'm kidding. That's horrible. Well, this is a place. It's pretty dark, by the way. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna keep going back. Hey, flag. Nice, nice. Wow! I can't explain it, but I'm happy. I'm a human being, but I like this place. I feel weirdly happy. It might be an instant, this instant thing for Pokemon. Maybe this is what it feels like to want your want to wake your tail. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm happy. Maybe I feel that way because I'm a mudkip. Oh, I heard you're impressed, aren't you? I thought so. I thought this would make a good place for you to live. How would you know that, first of all? You just met us like... What's the time? About 18 minutes ago, I think. And you already made this house somehow and like found the perfect spot with water for like the perfect conditions for a mudkip. How? And that doesn't matter. Is there, how do you get a mailbox so quickly too? You know, just like the Fisher Caterpie fell into, for some reason there has been many natural disasters lately. Because of those disasters, many po Pokemon suffer or are suffering. Yeah. I want to help Pokemon in those tough times. I want to help them change things so all the Pokemon can live in peace. So, um... Well, I like how you handle yourself when we rescue Caterpie. Would you like to join me on a rescue team? With you, I think we could even become the world's best rescue team. How about it? Uh, sure. Perfect! That's it then. We're partners in our rescue team from now on. Glad to have you on board. Team name? Well... I don't have one yet. So, experts, what do you think would be a good name for us? Okay, I don't know because I suck at naming. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, okay, I guess I'll name it this, suppose, anyway. Sure, I'm great at names, right, guys? Not really. Vanquish! I like it, it's a good name, it's perfect for us. Rescue Team Vanquish. Let's do good starting tomorrow. And then it's like, Mudkip, oh, I don't have, like, arms, so I guess I'll do that. And that is how Experts and Aqua began their career together as a rescue team. I don't know. And here's the title screen, like, I don't know, a lot of games, like, that are decent or pretty good, for some reason, they have the title screen. I am pretty biased about that. <laughs> oh, that's great, right? The next morning, oh, I'm asleep. Hey, there's a moon. Sweet. I'm still the same. The way I look. I'm still a mudkip. But why would I be transformed into a Pokemon? How would you know what a Pokemon is? Why? Well, I guess you were given the introduction. Oh well. Hmm. I don't understand this at all. Da 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 da. I feel groggy and sleepy. Not feeling well. I need more sleep. So, um, when it refers to sleep, go back to the bed and it will ask you to save. You click yes, and you will go back to sleep and save the game. But this is where we will end the episode now. If you like this episode, make sure to hit the like button down below and make sure to subscribe for more of this content. I will be mass uploading or mass recording and uploading this daily, hopefully, alongside a different Pokemon game, uh, which will be Pokemon Liquid Crystal. 
yeah, it was suggested by someone else, I will look for that comment as well and give them the shout out. And yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. See you all later.